Hi guys, it's Laura and today I'm gonna be doing a different video and it's really really exciting for me because after one year saving and waiting for it, I finally got to get the iPhone and I got the iPhone 7 Plus in silver color, the old silver, not the new jet black or matte black, just the silver one with the white on, like, on the screen, yeah. And I'm really happy with the phone, I totally recommend it. I have had no problems with it until now and hopefully I won't have. And yeah, I really like it, I'm really happy with it. And today I want to show you what's inside it, so let's go ahead and see. Okay, so first I'm going to show you the covers. This cover that I have on the phone right now is transparent, but it has some silvery shapes, kind of. And I really like it because it matches the phone as it's silver, and it's not too bright or anything. It's really cute, it's really simple, and I mean, you can see your phone color, so, you know, it's like it doesn't cover your phone. You can actually see your phone color. But it also adds some details that make it look really cute and it protects your phone perfectly as it's really really thick so I'm really really happy with it. The next case is this one and it's the donuts one. I think this one goes with my personality perfectly as I love donuts, I'm a donuts lover. And I love the colors because it's just white, pink, brown and it's also transparent, like the background is also transparent so you can actually also see your phone. And it also, it's harder than the other one so I like to have also, you know, harder covers. And this one also covers your phone, but especially your camera. Like, it's amazing how it covers your camera because if it falls, you know it's never gonna break because it's just the covering of your camera is perfect. And last but not least, I have this transparent cover. It's totally transparent. And yeah, it's really, it's really like soft. So I don't like it very much. And it doesn't cover your phone, so it was the first cover I bought, just so I could protect it a little bit. But it doesn't really, you know, cover it all in. And I think it's easy for the phone to get damaged with this cover. And for me, it was also a little bit boring to have just a normal transparent cover. So my friend Anna and I made two of these papers that you can put in here, like this. So you, the phone can look, you know, different, a little bit different. And I really like this, like this one especially looks really cute. And also this one is really different and I don't know, it's a really good idea I feel like. So thank you Anna because you gave me an amazing idea. And now let's just jump inside it. Okay, so as you can see when you unlock it, it's like a normal iPhone. You just have the time, the day, um, whatever wallpaper you chose. In this case, I chose this one of Dylan Sprayberry because I love this actor and he acts in Teen Wolf. So this is one of my favorite series. So of course I love him so much. And um, this background has like the red... Sorry, what? And I love this background so much because it's red, so you can probably see the time, like it's white, so it probably you can probably see it. And then also, you can probably see him, so it's so good. And then if you swipe left, you can see your favorites and what's up next. Now we're gonna just put our fingerprint to unlock it, and that's it. Um, I have to say, I only have one screen, as you can see, well, this is just the same one, so I'm not gonna talk about it. But if I go right, there is nothing else, like it's just one kind of a screen. And um, for the background, this one, I have a picture of me that I took in Lazarote in Cueva de los Verdes. De los Verdes. And I really like this picture. I don't know why. I didn't plan to take it. I just, I was just like, let's take a picture. And it turned out to be really nice. So I love how it looks. And now let's start with the apps. First, I'm going to start with um, the upper ones and then I'm going to go to the lower ones. So the first one is mail, then calendar, notes, clock, camera, App Store, Settings, and Calculator. This one's already came there, so I didn't really change it. I just kept it as it is because that's how I want it. And I'm going to give you a small hack for the calculator. If you're typing a really long number, such as, let's say, 999,999, just write it like this, right? But let's say you make a mistake and you write this, and you want to delete the 6. You don't have to press the C to delete it all. You can just swipe left or right, and then it will, until you reach the number, and then when you reach the number, you keep writing. For example, I swap left three times. I deleted six, now I keep writing. And um, let's say I made a mistake here. I was supposed to write 99, so I just go two times and 99. That's it. It's as easy as that. So I think it's a really cool hack. I use it all the time and it's helpful, I think. The last app that I have that is from the phone is Photos. Now we're gonna start with the apps that I downloaded. The first one is Workit. I don't use this app that much now, but I used to use it for a lot. Um, so it's in Spanish, but I can just use it, I guess. 
it says force aerobics yoga or stretching let's say I want to do a stretching let's say I want to do a stretching for the whole body I press there and then I start the stretching and it tells me how many minutes do I want to work and let's say I want to work five minutes because I'm lazy you know so I start the routine and it tells you exactly what you have to do and how you have to do it like the guy is doing it right there so it's really easy to see like if you don't know how to do it he tells you how to do it so it's really nice and you know it's really nice to work at home if you don't have a gym or anything. Okay, now we're going to start with the folders. The first one is a dead skull, and it's because these apps are like dead to me, I never use them. So I'm simply going to show you, but I'm not going to, you know, read each one of them, because these are the ones that come with the iPhone, so, you know, I didn't do anything. The only one that I might use sometimes is weather, because that way I can know, like, how the weather's going to be today, and stuff like that. But I don't really use it. The next is productivity, and here I have messages, which I don't use a lot, uh, phone, which I use just when I need to call someone, I mean, everyone knows what a phone is, I guess. Then FaceTime. Here in Saudi Arabia, the FaceTime is banned, but I still have it, so when I go to Spain, I can use it, you know. And then I have a movie to edit some videos. Classroom. This is a, an app for my school, well, kind of for any school, just for my classes, and so that I know if I have any homework during, you know, well, I'm not at school and stuff. Here I have my classes and I can just pick whichever and see if I have homework or not. It's really cool to, you know, check. It's like an agenda, but online agenda, so you won't forget anything. Okay, then I have translate because, as you know, I'm always changing languages between English and Spanish. So, of course, I'm going to need to translate some words because I'm not perfect. Then I have drive where I have all my documents for school. If I have to do any work, I do it there. And then I have what part? which I don't use so I don't really know I used to read there but then I came tired because it's really I don't like reading on the phone because it's really small like screen so I didn't like it so I'm gonna delete it because I don't use it at all um, then I have games which I only have four games three of them are don't need Wi-Fi but one of them does I honestly prefer to have games that don't need Wi-Fi so it's just I can use it whatever I want um, Okay, so the first one is, I'm gonna say Trivia Crack, and for this one you need Wi-Fi, but, you know, what? Okay, but it's actually fun to answer the questions and, I don't know, just test your knowledge, kind of, and when I'm bored, I, I apply this one. Then I have Subway Surf, um, I think everybody knows what Subway Surf is. It's a game that you basically have to go with the guy running. The next one is Wrong Sky, and I used to love this game, but now I don't like it that much because I hate when you reach a level that you can't pass. It's really annoying. So this one, it's almost the same as Subway Surf. You just have to, you know, don't not die, but it's actually kind of fun. But then there's a moment when you die, like, you know, so that's annoying. And the next and last one is my favorite game ever, it's Pedal Tiles 2 in this case. And you just have to press the tiles and, you know, do as good as you can. And it goes faster and faster until you press the wrong key, like this one, you know. Um, so yeah, we have three left. We have Art, which I don't know why I called it Art, because it was originally for music. Now it's also for picture editing, now for Bitmoji, so nothing to do but, you know. A Visco Cam, or VSEO Cam, whatever you want to call it. And it's for editing pictures. Let's say I want to edit this one. Um, I simply press here and then I have all these filters. And, I don't know, I like the T1, I like the ACG, I like the B5. You know, you have many filters and I like those. Um, then you can also, sorry, you can also edit here. And you can change the lighting, whatever. It's really cool up and I only need one, so I'm fine with that. And then I have free music. Um, here you can load music for free in the iPhone. Um, it took me a while to find this app, but finally I found it and, you know, I use it. Next would be Bitmoji. I think we all know what a Bitmoji app is. Um, it's simply, you know, you have the, your you have your emoji and you can use it for Snapchat. And I don't know if you can use it for other apps. I think you can have the keyboard, but I don't have it. I simply like to have the emojis and see them. The Bitmojis. Okay, next one I think is the one that I use the most is Social. And... I have YouTube, of course you're using YouTube right now, you watch it because to see the people and that's what I do too, like I just see the people that I like and see the videos. Then I have Studio, people that have YouTube channels like me, they use Studio and this is simply to see like how if you have comments or your videos, how they're doing and stuff like that. Then I have Pinterest, I only use this for like wallpapers or receipts but I don't really use it for 
any other things. Except for inspiration sometimes, I don't know. But yeah, I like it. It's a really cool app if you want to see many pictures or get ideas and stuff. Then I have Boomerang. I think we all know what Boomerang is. It's for, from Instagram. It's like you take a short video of something in movement and then it repeats. So, you know, that's how it is. Then I have Netflix. Um, it's for this app. You don't have to pay, but you do have to pay for a plan so you can use it. So basically you have to pay for it, kind of. Um, my plan is the medium one. Um, you can see many, many series and films, so it's really nice. And you can also download some of them. I downloaded one episode of Stranger Things and yeah. Then I have Facebook. Uh, this is my personal Facebook. I never ever use it. I have it just because of the compound. Sometimes they post some things on the um, compound Facebook page and I like to see it. And that's the only reason why I have Facebook. And then I have Messenger and I do use Messenger with some of my friends that don't have WhatsApp and I actually love the app so much so yeah okay and last um, and the last folder that I have is shopping and I have a little bit of a mix here because it's not only shopping I have I personally use it a lot because I always change from year to star from star to year then I have AdSense AdSense is for YouTube but I haven't used it yet then I have Amazon this is, as you probably know already, for buying online. I don't know who doesn't know Amazon, but, you know, this is for buying online. Then I have The Hunt. This is an app that is, like, the solution for all your problems with the clothes that you can't find. Let's say you see a girl with some, like, let's say you see a girl with these shoes, okay? For example, I posted this. You see a girl with these shoes, and you want to know where you're buying them because you want to get them. But you know where... But you don't know where to buy them. So you simply post a picture on the hunt and say, I want this exactly. And then someone adds a find, like here, add a find. And then you just put the website where to find it. And then as easy as that. So I really like that. And then I have AliExpress. It's like Amazon, another app for buying online. Chisissimo. Chisissimo? Chisissimo. Chisissimo. And the last app is Chisissimo. And they're not working. Great. But um, I'm just going to tell you simply, if you want to match, for example, you have a grey shirt and you don't know how to match up with other clothes and you don't know what to wear, an outfit, you just put the symbol, you just spread the symbol of a shirt and of the grey and then it will show you many, many, many outfits that the people upload so you can see them and you can take a use for your outfits and the stuff is really, really cool. The last four apps that I have to show you are my favorite apps ever and they are the four that I have down here. And the first one is Safari. I think everyone knows what Safari is. It's just like Google, but for iPhone. Then I have WhatsApp. Um, it's like a message app, in case you don't know, but I think everybody knows nowadays because it's so famous. And I use it with everybody. I think almost everybody that I know has WhatsApp. So I always text them by here and stuff. So. Then I have Snapchat. I, um, it's an app to send pictures to your friends. Here's the camera and there's me. Let's say I take this picture, then I can put um, some filters, like I can put this one, and then I can save it, or I can, you know, put the seconds that I want the people to see it, for example, let's say I want to see it, two seconds, and then I send them to the people, for example, Yasmin, um, Charla, and Faith, these people are the ones that are the most, and yeah, and people just send you also pictures or videos that you can see for a certain time and then they automatically delete so you know I like this app I use it a lot I think it's one of the apps that I use the most then we have Instagram this is an app to see your friends pictures or videos or whatever and this is my Instagram in case you want to follow me and I post a lot and regularly but yeah so guys this is all for the what's on my iPhone 7 plus video so I hope you enjoyed it and liked it and I hope I gave you some ideas about apps that you didn't know and might be helpful if Comment down below your favorite app and the one you recommend me to have. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you want to see more of my videos. Bye and see you soon.